Well, the center of your brain has a small gland in it called the pineal gland, which as you can see here, it was called pineal because it's shaped like a pine cone. This is the exact geometric center of your brain. It's right here. And this, as we're going to see, is very important in ancient culture. So the pineal gland has been explained through conventional methods, conventional means. To some degree, uh, they have figured out what it does by looking at how when light strikes your retina, there's a little nerve system here called the preganglion sympathetic neurons. And they move through, and the light transitions itself into your pineal gland. Okay. When the light goes off, it signals electromagnetically to the pineal gland that it's time to go to sleep, which then secretes melatonin into your cerebrospinal fluid, which activates the whole brain's sleep mechanism, the whole nervous system. Okay, So the pineal gland is very much associated with going to sleep. Well, that makes sense because when you go into a mystical state of consciousness, typically you have to go into a very meditative, very zoned out, very relaxed Zen type of consciousness. That's not an accident. So again, if therefore your eye be single, your whole body shall be full of light. So when you cut off the light on the outside, the light opens up on the inside. That's the melatonin mechanism. Well, the pineal gland is activated when light goes out. Jesus also said the people who sat, sat in darkness saw a great light, Matthew 14, Matthew 4.16. Again, the idea that it's only when you, when the light goes out and you can activate your pineal gland that you have the full access to this knowledge. So the pineal gland also secretes another chemical. This is more recent research called dimethyltryptamine or DMT. Now, what's the big secret? The interior is filled with water. How does that seem like a big secret? Who cares? Why would it matter that there's water inside the pineal gland? Well, those of you who were here yesterday know the answer. Um, the interior of the pineal gland the water flips in and out through time space. We'll get to that in a second. The problem that most people are having is that the water calcifies as you age. In fact, that's how they're able to figure out if your brain has a tumor when you're getting an MRI. Most people have this chunk of calcium in the center of their brain, which looks white on the MRI or on an X-ray. And if that little guy is off to one side, why is that? Think about it. Because what? Tumor is pushing on the brain and it knocks it off of alignment. So our pineal gland is actually supposed to be used for transdimensional access, but instead what's happening is that we're calcifying it by our diet, by the use of fluoride in our toothpaste, fluoride in our water, by the drinking too much soda, carbonated beverages, uh, too much uh, refined fats, refined sugars, refined flours, white flour, it's, anything in moderation is okay. I'm not saying you got to go on a totally Spartan crazy diet, 